Okay, so hi, my name hi. is Samir. I am currently pursuing first year social epidemiology in the health school at Tata Institute of Social Sciences. Uh, my background is I've done my undergrad in life sciences from Delhi University. Raghav Rati, I am first year student of MPH SC social epidemiology course. So basically, this course comes under like uh, in the school of health system studies. My background is I'm like I come from a pharma pharmacy background. I've done my B farm and then M farm. Then I'm here for like I was previously working for two years and now I'm here. So yeah, this course like if uh, I talk in the layman terms, so this course basically focuses on mainly on the prevention part of any disease and uh, like to stop the spreading of any disease, not on the curative part. Yeah. So b how the structure goes is. Uh, there are many subjects we uh, like many subjects are taught here basically uh, if we talk about core public health courses then there are epidemiology course public health course uh, and some are economics Even courses, financing, courses. Yeah, financing health financing courses as well so uh, and also furthermore in the epidemiology school uh, in the epidemiology course especially there's a lot more focus on the social aspects of things mm -hmm. rather than uh, the more so the basically the whole idea of social epidemiology is to understand ki how the people living in a certain subpopulation or a population are affected by disease spread and how their social uh, and economic status is differentiated and how that affects their disease spread. So we focus more on that. Our job is not primarily to uh, work on the prevention, uh, on the curative aspect, but more on the prevention aspect of things. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. If we talk talk about the course structure, then basically this course is divided into like four semesters. Uh, in first semester, you will be teaching a hell lot of courses, uh, like uh, uh, for, uh, like ranging from different from economics till the public health epidemiology. And in the second sem, there will be some courses along with a uh, urban internship. And in the third sem, also you will go for an urban in, uh, rural internship. Along with that, like final, you will be going with the dissertation in your fourth sem. So the internships I want to talk about yeah. are very important. So the internships give you a real world idea of how to work on all these. Uh, how to go on the field basically. Yeah, on the field and how to talk to people. Uh -huh. And that further helps you with your uh, dissertation. So the dissertation is more of a research part. If you want to write about things once you work in the field, it's more focused on that. But personally, I'm here for the uh, incentive that I can receive from working in the field. Yeah. And furthermore, uh, if, you talk, if you think about the financial aspects of what you're going to earn as a career prospect, uh, because this is a social science institute, we focus more on how we can influence the lives of people and bring about change rather than earning uh, big amounts of money. So our focus is more on that. Even the uh, even the organizations that come in, like uh, Piramal, Piramal, Swasti, yeah. all these uh, big NGOs that we have heard of, they focus more on uh, groundwork and fieldwork and understanding how uh, how populations can be affected by diseases, such as the COVID pandemic, uh, be that recently. How COVID, how COVID has affected the life and like whole whole lot of organizations are, are like ranging from uh, different NGOs as Samir said uh, and ranging till like all the consultancies all come for placement we have like centralized uh, placement cell here for whole whole school of health system studies so there is like no differentiation between any course but yeah more for this course more more like more focus is on basically on the field intervention and all yeah, so yeah. and the best okay. part about uh, the placements as Raghav said is that because there is a centralized system, everyone has equal opportunities for going into different fields. So someone from epidemiology can also work in administration. Yeah. Uh, however, uh. we particularly, I would particularly want to work in with NGOs that are placed in rural areas, because that's I think where the more uh, yeah. problems are, or where the more accessibility you can, issues. Yeah. You can make ma like larger impact on the society through going to the like everyone have different different choices and different exactly. different. Uh, uh, way they can go and talking about campus life like we have a like very green campus here uh, yeah full of life and <laughs> full of it's a very fun campus there's yeah. a lot of greenery you can yeah. walk around a lot yeah. and another good thing about the campus is the uh, is the uh, le low amount of restrictions that are mm -hmm. there you can mm -hmm. roam around in the campus at night it's very lit up there's yeah. good security there's good uh, very friendly people here there's a lot of cats uh, for whoever <laughs> loves Fight cats, lovers. Uh, do be safe from them. They do tend to. There's a lot of snakes also, <laughs> uh, so maybe not be too friendly with them. Uh, yeah. And 
other things outside the campus also there's good life you yeah. can you, you get fun. discount at different different <laughs> places by this id card it's so fun yeah. so <laughs> you it's a fun can place. just roam around but yeah, yeah definitely if you're willing to uh, come Stay. for the social epidemiology course it's definitely a thumbs up from me and i guess yeah, i have also it's a thumbs up from me for like whole whole, whole health school system not just epidemiology but yeah for whole health school it's a great learning place yeah so we are definitely, definitely happy with our courses all the best <laughs> all, all the, the best, best for your exams <laughs> that's it